Hello YouTubers, here's, another, here's uh, Nick with another uh, defibrillator video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Medtronic Life Pack 500 automated defibrillator. Uh, this is Med one of Medtronic's first models that came out. It's one of the most popular units around, found in airports, schools, uh, almost anywhere in public areas. It's actually the AED that sees in my high school. So uh, I'll begin. I'll begin the video of uh, me taking you through how it really works. So here's the outside. As you can see, it comes in a black case with a, a yellow reflective uh, uh, Life Pack logo on the bottom left-hand corner. And up here, it's very hard to see, but. Um, it's a status indicator because this device, once again, runs self-tests on a regular basis every day. So, if anything comes back in question, this unit, this thing says OK right now. There's two squares on the side. Um, if it's a battery, a little battery symbol will come up on one side. If there's an error, there's a little error message or a little error symbol that come up on the other side. So. This is, I got this for 95 bucks, very cheap for a defibrillator. Um, to use it, I don't need pads right now, I'm going to get pads, but to use it, you undo the snaps. You can see you got a little quick reference card to show you uh, how to use it, you know, just to look at, at this card, you know. Um, it'll uh, show you at a glance on how to use it. So I'm going to turn it on. It'll be hard to see, but you'll hear it. Connect electrodes. So it's telling me to connect the electrodes. So At this point, after I've connected the electrodes, I'd have to push on this model. There's a little analyze button. It shows a uh, magnifying glass looking at an ECG rhythm. And I push that next, and that tells it to analyze. However, some newer LifePak 500s or some other models won't have this button. So that means that the unit will auto analyze automatically, so you don't have to push anything. Uh, maintenance on this unit, like I said, is very easy. Um, it runs self-tests by itself. Um, the battery is accessed by tipping this little Velcro door, like that. And then there's a little black trigger. There you go, there's the battery. And apparently this was installed in 2013, so it was installed it was, uh, um, let's see. Well, it was installed, it's going to be installed last year because it's got 2013 on there. So it's got three more years on it. Now, because I took the battery out, once again, it's very hard to see, but the uh, OK symbol is gone. So now i got a battery on this side and a wrench on this side. The wrench means that something more serious uh, take took place inside the unit and I might need to service it or take it in. But uh doesn't seem to be uh having any trouble now. I need to get past. Um my unit is pediatric capable. There's a little pink inner uh thing inside the connector. So if it's pink inside there that means it's pediatric capable. So I got this little dust cover and that's very hard to fit in. So um to take the unit out of the case, you simply undo that Velcro slap or flap, whatever, and you pull it from the back, and there's the Life Pack 500 without the black case. So it, it's pretty small. Um, it's maybe about the size of a small, maybe a laptop or a small purse, maybe. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty durable. Um, let's see, 
Yeah, pendants pending. Medtronic Physio Control. So this is a, another fine Medtronic product. Um, this unit is no longer in production, unfortunately, because it is an older unit, but it is still available. Um, this unit is, like I said, uh, very popular. Um, it's all, it's everywhere. I've seen this more than the Life Pack Sierra Plus or 1000. The 1000 is the newest, uh, newest version. So uh, that's pretty much uh, the Life Pack uh, one, uh, 500 uh, automated defibrillator. Um, like I said, there's not much to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, well, have a good day. Uh, if I have any more defibrillator videos, I'll definitely let you know. Have a great day. Thank you.